Assalamu alaikum. You are watching MLT MCQs. Uh, our today's topic is normocytic normochromic anemia and today is the second part of this topic and we will talk about 13 best MCQs in part 2 of normocytic normochromic anemia. So let's start the MCQs. So our MCQ number 1 is hemolytic uremic syndrome HUS is characterized by all of the following except Options are thrombocytopenia, reticulocytopenia, hemoglobinuria or hemorrhage. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2, reticulocytopenia. MCQ number 2 is an autohemolysis test is positive in all the following conditions except options are paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, pyruvate kinase deficiency, hereditary spherocytosis and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. MCQ number 3 is which antibody is associated with paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria PCH? Options are NTM, anti capital I, anti small i or anti P antibody and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4 anti P antibody is associated with paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. MCQ number 4 is all of the following are associated with intravascular hemolysis except all of the following are associated with intravascular hemolysis except options are decreased heptoglobin, hemoglobinemia, methemoglobinemia or hemoglobinuria and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 3 methemoglobinemia. MCQ number 5 is autoimmune hemolytic anemia is best characterized by which of the following options are spherocytic red cells, decreased unconjugated bilirubin, increased level of plasma C3 or decreased osmotic fragility and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1 spherocytic red cells. MCQ number 6 is bite cells are usually seen in patients with options are Rh null trait, PK deficiency, chronic granulomatous disease or in G6PD deficiency patients. The right answer for this MCQ is option number 4. Bite cells are usually seen in patients with G6PD deficiency. MCQ number 7 is the morphological classification of anemia is based on which of the following? The morphological classification of anemias is based on which of the following options are RBC indices, myelite erythroid ratio, Prussian blue stain, reticulocyte count and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1 RBC indices. MCQ number 8 is which of the following is a common finding in aplastic anemia? Which of the following is a common finding in aplastic anemia? Options are A. Monoclonal disorder, defective DNA synthesis, tumor infiltration or peripheral blood pain cytopenia. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4, peripheral blood pain cytopenia. MCQ number 9 is microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is characterized by microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is characterized by options are toxic granulation, schistocytes and nucleated RBC, target cells and cabot rings or Pepenheimer bodies and basophilic stippling and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2 schistocytes and nucleated RBC. MCQ number 10 is which of the following condition may produce spherocytes in peripheral smear? 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन में प्रोड्यूस स्फ्यूरोसाइट इन पेरेफरल स्मेयर ऑप्शन आर ऑटो इम्यून हेमोलिटिक एनीमिया सिड्रोब्लास्टिक एनीमिया परनीशियस एनीमिया और कैंसर एंड द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस एम सी क्यू इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन ऑटो इम्यून हेमोलिटिक एनीमिया एम सी क्यू नंबर इलेवन इज वट रेड सेल्स इंक्लूजन मे बी सीन इन द पेरेफरल ब्लड स्मेयर ऑफ अ पेशेंट पोस्ट स्प्लिनेक्टोमी ऑप्शन आर सिड्रोटिक ग्रेन्यूल्स मलेरियल पैरासाइट्स हॉवल जोली बॉडीज और टॉक्सिक ग्रेन्यूलेशन एंड द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस एम सी क्यू इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री होवल जोल जोली बॉडीज एम सी क्यू नंबर ट्वेल्व इज रेटिकुलोसाइटोसिस यूजली इंडिकेट्स ऑप्शन आर न्यू प्लास्टिक प्रोसेस रेड सेल रीजनरेशन ए प्लास्टिक एनीमिया और रिस्पॉन्स टू इन्फ्लामेशन एंड द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस एम सी क्यू इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू रिटिकुलोसाइटोसिस यूजली इंडिकेट्स रेड सेल रीजनरेशन थैंक यू सो मच डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर वॉचिंग एम एल टी एम सी क्यूज अल्लाह हाफिज